What's up everyone, Cheese here. So today I'm going to show you how to use your FPV goggles with your computer for liftoff or your simulator, whatever you use. Um, because I'm of the mind, if you're going to train your fingers with your transmitter to get muscle memory down, you need to train your eyeballs to look at your screens right. Because when you're going to be out flying your quad FPV, that's what you're going to be looking at. You're not going to be looking at a computer screen, you're going to be looking at your FPV goggles. So when you're training, you should train with that too. Let's do this. Okay, so in order to do this, you're obviously going to need a pair of FPV goggles. That's beside the point. What you're also going to need, though, is you're going to need a couple of video converters. So there's two of them. Uh, one is an HDMI to, this says AV. Um, it's RCA, there's a couple other things. This is the, these are the old, old school red, white, and yellow plug that you might be familiar with from VCRs or something if you're dated like me. <laughs> so what it does is it converts the video from your computer. I have HDMI out coming out of my computer, so you just take the HDMI out so I can just unplug it from my computer and then plug it into here, give it a little power. You just have your ports here. So then you take your cord, this is the other part of the equation, this is the one that converts it from the RCA or AV or component or just a couple other things. I always call it RCA because it reminds me of VCR. So it, this one takes the RCA and converts it into a 3.5 millimeter AV composite. So this is, you could search for video camcorder that's where this cable was really, really, really used more than anything. Um, but it's basically, it's a headphone jack, just a regular 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that has three. Okay, so here we are. I have my converter. So I plug in my power. And then I take my HDMI out of my screen. Give my computer a second. And then plug that into the HDMI port on my converter. Okay, so at this point the computer is sending audio and video to the converter and the converter has power so it's doing its thing, right? Now we've got to figure out which cable inside this cord and which end piece out of here corresponds to what inside of our goggles. So we need to power on our goggles. <clears throat> then I'm going to take my 3.5 millimeter and plug it into the video in here. We're going to need sound, so I'm going to get some headphones. It's Now it's really up to which one of these is which one of these over here. So I'm just going to try them out as they are, plugging in color, color to color and see what happens. Okay. We have audio, so one of these audios is right. And one of the one in the one in the video isn't. So let's find the video. Okay. So this must be audio. So the red is the video. And so th and then these two must be audio. And we've got video in here. We've got audio coming out of our goggles. We're ready to rock. So obviously there's some other adjustments you have to do, such as <clears throat> adjusting on your computer whether or not you're cloning the screen, since I'm running dual screens, or if it's remaining the extension, I clone it. That way I can, because I can't really read what's on the screen, so I have the screen cloned to my goggles. Then I can take the goggles off and come up here and I can like change any settings if I'm messing with PIDs or whatever. Um, so obviously there's some more stuff like that, but that's it. You're ready to go after that. So let's go get some flying. So I was flying the other day in the new DLC and, they, and the, um, the drawing board looks really, really cool with its neon pink and blue with the sunset that it's got going on. It's pretty fun. And there's one track in particular that 
a lot of fun just to run the race, but it's even more fun to just really get into a good flow and just run around it. So here's some footage of that. <laughs> 